Hi guys, it's Ben here. Welcome to my preview for Liverpool versus Southampton. We are back at it again after a magical midweek win over Paris Saint-Germain at Anfield. I was in the cop end for it. If you've not seen the vlog, then go and check it out. It was a brilliant night. Um, you know, I was saying beforehand I wasn't too nervous, but mainly because the Champions League, as much as I love it and as much as Kiev last year was amazing and all that, it's just slightly below the league in terms of priority for me. But still, the celebrations when Firmino got that winner were majestic. And, you know, if you're following my Instagram, you'll have seen my post where I did the celebration and, yeah, 11,000 likes. So thanks for that. Um, so, yeah, if you're not following me on there, please go and do so. I'm very active. But anyway, we've got a big game against Southampton coming up now. And if you looked at our fixtures before the Spurs away game, so the kind of in-between this international break just gone and the next one, the Southampton at home game is the easiest one. We've got Chelsea at home and then Chelsea away and then Napoli away and then City at home after that. So this is the one that people might look at and say it's the gimme. But that is probably the thing that might end up costing us, you know, not whether it's complacency, but you know, in your head, you always kind of maybe take half a percent off of uh, your mindset. And that, that is what we cannot afford to do. Um, but luckily, the players we have in our team at the moment don't look like the kind of guys that are going to do that. I mean, and I'm, when I say that, I'm especially talking uh, about the midfield. And in particular, James Milner, who has become my favourite player of all time. I think he's better than Chabby Lundzo was for Liverpool. I think he's, you know... I'm running out of words to say about him. He was a 10 out of 10 uh, against PSG. He wasn't far off that against um, Spurs. And Genie van Alden, likewise. Both these guys, who would have thought that they'd be starting in our midfield? And undroppable, absolutely undroppable. Um, you know, despite Fabinho being in £40 million, pounds, despite Jordan Henderson being our captain and very consistent, and he was terrific against PSG as well. Despite Naby Keita, you know, uh, all these options, you know, people thinking about Shakiri, we never signed Fakir. Uh, you know, so the talk was it could have been a Fabinho, Keita and Fakir midfield three. Instead, it's, well, Milner, Vijnaldum and one other. I don't care who the one other is. As long as Milner and Vijnaldum are in my team, that's all I care about. And I hope they both play uh, on Saturday, whether it's Vijnaldum is in the number six, uh, Milner ahead of him and then maybe Keita as well. I think that's probably what we'll go with. Um, and that midfield is not getting beaten by anybody in all departments. Um, Vijnaldum is getting forward, making runs from deep, uh, winning the ball everywhere. Um, just keeping on a possession so well, using his body um, at just the right time. James Milner just booting people around, just not get, not afraid of anything, just launching himself into tackles, uh, playing brilliant passes, um, getting forward as well. And then, you know, Henderson was terrific against PSG in the, in the holding role. Um, again, breaking up play, winning the ball so often. Um, and you've got Naby Keita, who we know is capable of great things uh, if we go for him. So... The midfield, you know, of all, of all the areas to be waxing lyrical about, I didn't expect it to be in the midfield, but it is. Um, you know, the defence has been great, only conceding a couple of goals in the league, only conceding a couple. Uh, well, they conceded two in the, in the PSG game, and, you know, that is the most we conceded all season, but, you know, it's Paris Saint-Germain. The first goal is a great goal for Mounier, great finish. Um, you know, we could have maybe, de maybe dealt with the cross better, but it's a wonderful goal. The second one is a mistake by Mo Salah. Um, so, you know, the front three... <sighs> You know, I guess if, if there's one department of our team that isn't quite there yet, it is the front three, which, you know, if you had to choose one, you probably would say that because they're sc still scoring goals and you know that they are going to become absolutely irresistible at some point. Um, Firmino gets the winner off the bench against PSG. Um, Mane's scoring plenty of goals and Salah is literally the, you know, arguably the third best player in the world. So, yeah, it's pretty positive at the moment. We've won every single game. People are still complaining there. People are still commenting on Manny's Instagram saying he's selfish. People are still moaning about Jordan Henderson. People are worrying about Mo Salah. Come on, let's enjoy ourselves. We're winning every game that's put in front of us. Um, and you have to fancy us to do the same against Southampton. The bookies certainly fancy us to do the same against Southampton. Um, you know, Southampton or draw, a double chance is 7-2. to two, So us to win is 1-5. to five. We are very, very strong favourites against Southampton's side that have only won one game this season in the league. It was away at Palace. They also beat Brighton away in the League Cup. Um, but other than that, home draws against Burnley and Brighton, um, defeats against Everton and Leicester. Um, they're not doing anything special so far. Danny Ings has been really good for them. Obviously, he can't play against us. So um, whether they bring another midfielder in, maybe Stephen Davis um, or Ward-Prowse, I don't know. Um, you know, you'd, you'd probably struggle to see them going 4-4-2 um, at Anfield, especially if Mark Hughes in charge there, they'll probably look to stink the place out and keep it 0-0 for as long as possible and obviously we have to guard against that, score in the first half and hopefully it's a routine win. Um, in terms of our lineup, it's, 
you know, it's pretty obvious. Uh, I'd be very surprised if there were any changes. I think the time to make changes is against Chelsea midweek. Um, don't want to make too many changes because it is Chelsea and it's uh, it's a game against one of our big rivals. Um, you know, so but I think we might see the likes of Klein, um, John Matip, Moreno, um, Fabinho maybe, um, uh, Shakiri, Sturridge. Whether you want to have a look at Solanke or Rigi, you know, I don't know. But for now, it's got to be Alisson, Trent, Gomez, Van Dijk, Robertson. All of which I absolutely am in love with at the moment. I mean, particularly the outfield players, those back four. The full-backs, you know, everyone talks about Benjamin Mendy being this amazing... Uh, you know, having that wand of a left foot and his delivery being incredible. But, I mean, the, the storage goal the other night. R Trent's inch-perfect cross, which just about evades everyone. And then Robertson, literally first time, straight back in, absolute wand of a left foot, um, straight on Soldier's head. Couldn't miss, as they joked in the interview. Um, having that as a threat, and then both being so quick, and then both being so defensively sound. I mean, you know, Trent's out there pocketing Neymar. Um, you know, Robertson's out there pocketing Kylian and Bapp. <sighs> what can these guys not achieve? I mean, it's such a young... In some ways, inexperienced defence. You know, Trent and Gomez are not veterans of the game, but they play with such composure. You know, Gomez happy to take players on. He will make mistakes. He made one at Spurs away, which didn't get punished. He will make mistakes, but he's got such a confidence in his own ability to take the ball past players, um, to take the extra second on the ball instead of hoofing it clear. And that might well cost us. It cost Allison against Leicester, but it's just so refreshing to see that confidence, that swagger, and it is a swagger in that back four. Um, and, you know, if you just said 18 months ago that Liverpool would have a back four with that much confidence, especially if you told them that the left back would come from Hull, that the right back would come from the academy, that the centre back would be Joe Gomez after his injury concerns, you know, it's special. So very much enjoying that. Um, and then the midfield, I would go Vinaldum, Keita, Milner. And the front three, of course, I'll go Mane, Salah, Firmino. And let's hope we see some... Let's just hope, to, to put this to bed about the whole Mane doesn't like Salah or vice versa or they're selfish. Let's hope they put it on a plate for one another, each other, 2-0 at half time. And then Firmino makes it three. And then we all have a lovely afternoon. Um, the last of the, the sunshine in September. Uh, and then we go to their Chelsea game uh, a few days later, full of confidence and six from six. Chelsea probably be six from six themselves. So um, they go to West Ham this weekend and they are looking pretty strong. Um, so yeah, interesting round of fixtures this week. But we're only worried about ourselves and the Reds have got to go and beat Southampton. My prediction is a comfortable win. Are, there, are we going to blow somebody away? We haven't blown anybody away yet. We should have blown Spurs away. It was 2-1. But I mean, if it was 5-0, it wouldn't have flattered us. So can we see something like that? You know, we all predicted a 4-0 against Brighton. It was only 1-0. We all predicted a 4-0 against West Ham and it happened. But since that West Ham, we haven't been able to really thrash anyone. So can we put a 5 past somebody? Yes, we can. Is this the week for it? You know, maybe not. Maybe we're still going through the gears. I, I'm going to go for a 3-0. The same result we got at Anfield against Southampton last season. Um, I'm going to go for each of the front three to score. Mane, Salah and Firmino. Um, and yeah, hopefully a routine afternoon at Anfield. 3 o'clock. You know, the way everyone likes it, 3 o'clock on a Saturday, no TV coverage this time, I think for the first time this season. Let's see how we got on, guys. Uh, leave your predictions in the comment section below. Leave your team uh, selection preferences in the comment section below. Do you want to see Fabinho start? Answer probably yes. Do you want to see Shakiri given a go or Sturridge retain his place? Keen to hear your thoughts. You've heard my team. Let me hear yours. And yeah, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat and Facebook for more. Uh, and subscribe to this channel if you are new. The vlog will be up. Um, on Saturday night at some point. Obviously, Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Povetkin. Um, I'll be getting back uh, to London for that. Not, not, not going to that, but I want to get back to the flat for that and watch that. So maybe it might be a late, su late Saturday night, early Saturday morning kind of upload time. But yeah, it'll be here. Hope you guys will be here with me. And I'll see you soon.